Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is April 8th. Lisa Lydia Scott here with you. We're going to talk about our rainy forecast for today, an improvement on the way in a moment. But for first, of course, we want to remind you we're live on Facebook every weekday morning. It stays on your feed throughout the day, so you can watch it anytime that works for you. And we make it into a podcast. You can find that at inform.com slash podcast. Just look for the Inform Minute or anywhere you find your podcast. And not just Facebook, check us out on all of our social media platforms. All right, a lot of people today hoping to see an eclipse, yeah. but uh, it might not be the best for No, <laughs> we've got a cloudy sky today. As, I mean, you're waking up to it. It's yeah. really not going anywhere. We had it yesterday, too. <laughs> Scattered showers continue off and on. Kind of a mist drizzle happening in Fargo right now. Visibility down to about four miles, so it is enough to reduce visibility. I'd say you're going to need the windshield wipers off and on today. Not raining all day in any one spot, but kind of still some of these scattered showers. They will wrap up later tonight from the west to the east. We're drier for tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised to have fog tomorrow morning just with areas of clear sky, a light wind, and then this moisture hanging out in the atmosphere. Might get a little foggy tomorrow morning before turning partly cloudy in the afternoon. And the high is back near 60. We'll be stuck in the 40s for today. So as for the eclipse, we are in the partial area. We are not in the path of totality. We would be looking at about 70% coverage. So the moon covering the sun by about 70%, giving us kind of that crescent shape to the sun. Mm -hmm. um, starts at 1249, peaks at 159, ends at 309. I'm expecting to see a whole lot of nothing with it, though, because of the clouds. It might get a little darker for you right around 2.09, 2 o'clock p.m., 1.59, whatever the peak is. 1.59, there's a lot of numbers in my head. 1.59, it might get a little bit darker, but I think that's really about the most okay. that we'll see of it today, unfortunately, because it's kind of fun. People mm -hmm. love to yeah. party with it and have fun with it and come together for it, but mm -hmm. things are looking a little gray and yeah. damp. Um, so that's your local solar eclipse forecast. The path of totality does have some good clear spots though. So okay. we'll see, social media will be full of it. Oh yeah. And ABC and the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. So we will see images of it. You're just not gonna see it with your own eyes. Yeah. Um, okay, then the rest of the week, I do have more scattered showers late Wednesday into Thursday. Not as impressive or widespread of a rain chance as what this Sunday, Monday situation was. Uh, and then the weekend, I've got temps close to 70, likely going to be breezy. That's just kind of how it goes this time of year, but probably not as windy as what we had this past weekend when we were gusting 45 to 55. That was brutal. We had the blowing <laughs> dust advisory and it was Ugh. nasty out there. Uh, that was in advance of this low pressure system moving in. So our pressure gradient, our isobars, our lines of constant wind speed got really close together. Things get kind of pressurized if you will and that's what picked up that wind so much probably that normal kind of north dakota northern minnesota sort of breezy this weekend saturday is the day i'm pinpointing i think 70 will be Ooh. possible right. yeah so we'll see it's only monday but saturday looks like the warmest day of the forecast right now all right not a bad forecast a little yeah. soggy here today maybe a few more showers wednesday into thursday but mm -hmm. plenty of decent temperatures still to come yeah. so and we needed the moisture so. absolutely yeah unfortunately areas up north where you really need the moisture largely missed out on this rain you've got a shot for today but you're probably not going to end up with much um, i have seen rain reports by the way over an inch down in southeastern north dakota the watt breck area over into west central minnesota campbell elbow lake over an inch already uh fargo at midnight had 0.61 and then a little more for today too so maybe closing in on that inch mark here in fargo maybe three quarters of an inch because i don't expect too much moisture for today but yeah uh grand forks had 0.04 at midnight so mm, yeah not, not a so lot much. in that yeah, direction so no okay that's all thanks thank guys. you okay it's eclipse day. Yeah, it is. Kind of like a, a holiday day. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, today, a total solar eclipse will cross the country for the first time. It's been seven years. Mm -hmm. uh, millions of people across the U.S., Canada, Mexico uh, will be able to see that solar eclipse today. Uh, not to be confused with a lunar eclipse. Uh -huh. The difference is all about how the sun, the moon, and the earth line up. A solar eclipse happens when the moon is directly in front of the sun in a total solar eclipse like the one we'll see or some of us will see today the moon completely blocks out the sun causing everything to go dark for a few minutes yeah so however though like lydia said we're not really going to see anything here in our area because of one uh the clouds and all that and then two it wouldn't actually be the full eclipse but there are also some storms to the south that are threatening the path of totality so 
people that are, you know, have planned for this for a long time to go and see it, they're kind of worrying that they're gonna, you know, not get to see it, or maybe they'll have to drive someplace else and see it from where they planned to see it before. But it's kind of crazy the lengths people go to to see this stuff. Absolutely. I, mean, I get it, like it's cool, but it's just interesting to see how people plan it all out. So if you are going to try and sneak a peek at the sun today, just make sure you have those protective UV glasses. We don't want you to have, you know, permanent damage to your right. eyes or something like that. But if you don't want to leave your house, you don't want to track the eclipse, you don't want to get glasses, and you don't you know, want to do all that, uh, we have you covered right here on WDAY because Eclipse Across America will air live this afternoon on all of our ABC platforms uh, starting at 1 o'clock. So you can still see all the cool images and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff that comes from it. Even better that you could just set your, your rec you know, to yeah. record and watch it later too as yeah. well. So whatever. Yeah, we're going I'm to planning have to it. take advantage of that extra few minutes of darkness to hopefully get a better nap. Nap? In. I know. And then I I'll say, just look at all the images later. When you wake up on social media, <laughs> that's probably the smartest way to do it. All right. Well, uh, we're also tracking uh, developments in a, an apartment fire that happened in Fargo. We're working right now to learn what caused that fire. It actually forced several people out of their homes. Uh, WDAY was there shortly after it started, so we do know it started on a balcony spread uh, to the building on Amber Valley Parkway South. That's just a few blocks south of the Sanford Medical Center. Uh, luckily, firefighters say they were able to keep the heavy fire damage to the balcony and that initial apartment. The fire caused at least $200,000 in damage. Luckily, everyone got out safely. All right, this morning, we're working to learn the name of a man that was killed by a train over the weekend. The North Dakota Highway Patrol says it happened about 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon, about a half mile northwest of Carpio, that's west of Minot. The train operator saw a tractor near the railroad tracks from about a half a mile away, uh, sounded the train horns, uh, but then the operator saw a man standing on the side of the tracks. As the operator continued to sound the horn and get closer, the train ended up hitting the 84-year-old man and killed him. A heads up, if you're going to be heading towards the Twin Cities uh, today, you're going to run into some construction on I-94. Lane closures will start today in both directions, just east of Alexandria, all the way to the Osakis area. Crews are prepping for an upcoming bridge replacement and some repair projects. All right, today on Hot Mike with Dom Izzo, the best player in the uh, women's title game last night. Apparently it wasn't Caitlin Clark, it was a Minnesotan. Tessa Johnson's backstory and her connection to the upper Midwest. Plus, Grant Nelson's season is now done, but another decision is here, the pros, or another year of college. Come back and try to make another run. Hot Mike is live from 9 to 11 on WDOI Extra and on Inform.com. And remember, now is a great time to get that all-access pass to Inform.com. Mm -hmm. 99 cents a month for your first three months. Just go to Inform.com slash subscribe to check out that deal. And then join us the rest of the day for our newscast. Our next one's at 11, then 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And we'll be back tomorrow morning from 5 to 7 with First News. Have a great day, everyone.